What's going on YouTube? Back with another video real quick. Going to talk to you guys about maintaining and washing your bike. So I know there's a lot of different debates on what type of solution to use. Whether you use um, dishwashing detergent, you know, regular soap, or, um, you know, whatever the easiest thing you can find um, out there as far as cleaning your bike. Um, I don't go that route personally. Uh, there's a lot of debates about whether or not, you know, if that's the best choice to use. But to me, for the money that we put into these bikes and the components on the bikes and the sensitivity of some of the components, I'd rather just use a solution that's actually made to clean bikes. So my recommendation and what I use is called Muck Off. That's M-U-C-O-F-F. Um, it's the pink stuff. You can order it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description at the bottom of the page. It is for um, bikes and cleaning bikes. Um, and there's other solutions out there as well that I'm sure is just as good, but that's what I pretty much go with. Um, as far as the degreaser is concerned, I use this stuff right here. It's uh, Crystal Simple Green. I actually ordered this on Amazon as well. It comes in a gallon. And um, I'm not going to clean the chains or anything today. It's just I need to pretty much just wipe down the bike because of the dust. Um, and I haven't cleaned these bikes in a while, so... Um, just going to pretty much do a quick overview of how this stuff works. Um, first thing you need to do is pretty much rinse down the bike, which I pretty much kind of already gave it one rinse down, but I'll do another hard one real quick. And I'm not really using too strong of a pressure. And then, of course, I have my bucket of water. And then the muck off itself. So basically what I do is just spray a little bit of this stuff. Not much at all. Actually, I need it. And you can see pretty much just it's like a light pink solution. And yes, yeah, spray it all over the bike, man. That's pretty much it. You don't need a lot. Then I just let that sit there for about two or three minutes. And then I have pretty much a little microfiber sponge that I use. Just dip it in the water and then pretty much wipe the, wipe the bike down, clean, rinse, and then that's pretty much it. So it's pretty much not that difficult to do. Um, the sun, especially down here in Florida, can dry this stuff pretty quick. So I don't want to leave it on there too long. Um, even though it says let it dry for three to five minutes. In this sun down here, that equivalates to about one minute. So, yeah, I don't like to try to keep it on there for too long. Again, I'm not trying to... Um, clean or degrease the chain I'm just basically getting the main actual frame of the bike clean as of right now because during this time of year a lot of those trails out there get really really dusty and there's nothing wrong with that if the dust gets on your bike and stays for a while but when it stays on there for over a month, then yeah, it should be time to maybe time for a wash. And again, as you can see, what I'm doing here, I'm not getting too picky with where I'm going, I'm just trying to get the bulk of the components and areas. And yes, this bike does have a kickstand, but I do take it off when hitting the trail so. It's really for stuff like this that I keep the kickstand on for. And then, I know a lot of you people are thinking, all right, yeah, you're getting water and soap all on the chain. What are you going to do? You can't keep it wet. And no, I don't keep it wet. What I basically do is I ride the bike after I wash it to air dry it and again down here in Florida it doesn't normally take that long to air dry yeah, 
this thing was really, really dirty. Now you can probably doesn't look like it. But yeah, it's pretty dirty. And I'm not too picky on on things. You know, I see where the dirt is. Definitely try to get in there. But if I miss some spots, it's not gonna be the end of the world. Mountain bikes are supposed to get dirty. And so it is what it is in that case. Alright, and so that's pretty much that when it comes to just the initial rinse and wash. Oops, sorry if I got the camera going everywhere. That's pretty much all that I wanted to do. And so now, we do another rinse. And I just want some everywhere, man. Alright, and so that's really about it. Now, it's one of two things as far as drying the bike. You can actually get a towel, do it yourself, which I will do that as well. But then I'll just ride it around the neighborhood a couple of times. And let it air dry, get the chain dry, and things of that nature as well. But I do start off with a um, with a towel. Which I'll get right to it. And I mean, they have all kind of microfiber towels out there. They got all kind of stuff you can actually dry it off with pretty well. But to get most of that most of the water drops off and being in the sun it's going to dry very very fast and so that's pretty much it guys just a quick wash just a quick video again the products the muck off um, a lot of different companies sponsor this I see Trek, Cannondale, GT Scott, Specialized um, Canyon JLT, um, some of these I don't even know these names, never even heard of them before. But yes, a lot of companies that sponsor it. Um, I actually saw it on another YouTube video. A guy pretty much recommended it. I've been using it ever since and had no problems with any components, no squeaking, no clinging, no nothing with that. So it's better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, I do know you got to spend a little bit of money on it, but you know I think it's a lot more worth it when you look at the bigger picture as opposed to using dishwashing the detergent like Dawn or something and then next thing you know you got a chain that doesn't stop squealing or something like that so I wouldn't risk it anyway if you have any comments put them down below like subscribe and again like these videos save these videos so you know this is for for you know for you to help so you can remember what to buy when you actually you know it's time to clean your bike so um, other than that, man, I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.